Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. So today I am going to dinner with a friend. We're finally going to Ocean Prime. I've been wanting to go there for so long. So we're gonna do like a little happy hour and then we have reservations at six. So it'll be fun to like catch up and celebrate the holidays with her. Um, but as for now, I am editing vlogmas day 20 and sometime i'm gonna have to make the saran ball wrap game so i don't know if that'll be today or later but we'll see and yeah so i'm gonna get to editing okay so i'm actually going to get ready it is 2 30 around that time i don't know i'm gonna leave around like 4 30 ish four yeah anyway i'm gonna wear this green dress and then i'm gonna wear this jacket and I'm wearing these um, like thigh high boots. Love them, they're a little bit too big, but I'm gonna wear some fuzzy socks with them, which I'm gonna put on now. Okay, so this is the dress. Whenever I get ready, I like to just wear the outfit instead of like change, so have this on. And this is actually like one of my favorite dresses. Like I love things that have an asymmetrical line. I just, Love the way it looks. It complements my figure and everything. I was debating on wearing the red dress that I got, but I don't know. I feel like this one's more like, it covers more, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna wear this. And then like I showed you that stuff, but I'm gonna just get ready. I'm gonna just take my time because it's just the snot now and it's so annoying. So I do want to curl the hair. I don't know how good it will be curled, but I've never tried it. So might as well try it, see what it's like with the bangs and everything. Okay, so I am going to start getting ready now and just brush my teeth. And I thought I would just like walk you through my makeup routine a little bit because it's been a bit since I've done like a little get ready with me. So I don't have like that many products. So first I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. It is kind of hard for like beginners. Like I still have a hard time, but maybe it's just because I'm like not that good at makeup, but I think it's a good product and it lasts me quite a long time. Guys, this is so hard to talk during the makeup process but I don't want to do another time lapse because I feel like I overdo the time lapses, especially when it comes to doing my makeup. So that's why I'm like, okay, you know what? I need to like not do that. But anyway, yeah, when I mess up, I just wipe it with my finger and then like try again because it's just hard. And that's the beauty of doing it first. So I don't have to worry about like foundation and stuff. What I used to do, I used to do my eyebrows like after foundation and like powder and stuff, but then like I had no basis to work off of because my actual like eyebrow is underneath the um, foundation. So yeah, like it was not good and it like made it even harder and then my eyebrows would be like looking horrible and yeah. So I just basically have come to the conclusion just do the eyebrows first it'll help me in the long run um because these things are just so hard to do and i know this is like complaining i'm not trying to complain too much okay they're not too bad today okay so i think they're pretty good at least to like start off with because like i can always touch them up later in the makeup process so now I'm going to do some concealer. I swear this concealer is really good, but it's kind of hard to blend. I don't know, maybe it's like too light for me. I swear, I think it's too light for me, but I'm not gonna like get another one cause I don't know, it's fine. It's not too, too light, but I still think it's a little light for my skin shade. So all I'm gonna do is just like blend this in as best as I can and hope for the best honestly whenever I do my makeup I literally it's cross your fingers hope for the best hopefully it turns out well it's always such a gamble when I do my makeup more frequently it gets to the point of like habit so it's not as bad yeah and this is the shape tape double duty beauty concealer yeah it's the shape tape concealer I feel like 
everyone uses all the same products, but might as well just share what I use. Okay, so I think I like got it blended enough. Honestly, I kind of mix it with my foundation. This is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation because it's not too heavy on my face and it looks good. It makes my skin look good, like blemish free. And I was thinking uh, not too long ago, well, not too long ago as in like a few minutes ago, like dude, my skin is like looking my age, I feel like, and it's like not cool. <laughs> it kind of sucks. That's probably why I like been wanting to wear makeup more because like my face is showing like more sunspots and I don't know, but that's the beauty of makeup, I guess. And I finally found a foundation that works for me and that I like and that it's not too, it's not too thick. That was always my problem. Like for dance, I wore this foundation. It was by MAC. Um, it was a really good quality foundation, but like it was just too thick. And like, you guys know I'm like really sensitive to like smells and stuff. It smelled makeup-y. And don't get me wrong, like this one that I'm wearing has a little bit of makeup-y smell, obviously because it's makeup, but it's not as strong and it's not as thick. So that's why I can like stand this one. So I don't know if I'll ever try a different foundation. I ordered another one of these. It's in my drawer, or it's underneath my cabinet. Um, and I don't think I will ever change foundations, even though this one's kind of expensive. Okay, it literally takes me forever to blend my foundation, and you guys can probably tell that in my time lapses. I don't know why, it just takes forever, but now I'm using the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, and I forgot what shade this is. Hopefully it's on here. This is the shade Happy. And I was on a quest to find this because, like, there's a lot of these, like, products that are never in stock. Uh, so I had to, like, go on a goose chase for this product. And honestly, I love it because it's the right shade for me. Like, it's bright enough so you can actually tell I'm wearing blush and everything. So I don't know. I really like it. I love liquid stuff that I can use the beauty blender with because I just like blotting like this. It's just so much easier than like using a brush, I just feel like. And that's just a personal opinion, but I hate that sometimes like this side I put too much. So like I have to blend it more and sometimes I have to like turn around the little uh, sponge so I can get some more foundation to like blend the blush in a little bit more because it's just a little too strong. The thing though about the blotting like this, it does take longer, but like I prefer it. I don't know why. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna put like, uh, what's it called? Powder on. So I'm pretty much done with the beauty blender. I might come back to that. Uh, but next up I do my Laura Mercier translucent powder thing. So I just obviously put this on just like you would any other product. Just get some on the brush. And then this is when I kind of touch up my eyebrows because I kind of just like rushed through them in the beginning just to get the shape kind of. But this is when I like touch them up and then put the um, brow gel in them. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just like darkening them. I'm just darkening and filling in any like spaces I may have like missed. And then I obviously like brush them out a bit. Actually like these have turned out like surprisingly kind of good, especially for me just like slopping through this, which I'm not like meaning to slop through it. It's just like, I really don't feel like doing makeup today, but I'm just doing it because like I want to look cute and also I want to film this TikTok, the, the lit back, da 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 that one. <laughs> I don't really know the words to like any song, so don't like come at me. Yeah, I want to film TikToks and like I want to look cute for Ocean Prime tonight. So that's the only reasons like why I'm actually doing this because like I don't feel like doing this. So that's why I was like kind of like, let's slop through it. But it actually like kind of turned out well. See, that's what happens to me. Like 
when I don't care, it like looks good. And when I do care, it like looks shitty. <laughs> and I'm like, oh crap. I don't know. I guess it's like a psychological thing that it's just like, okay, since I'm trying, I put too much effort and then like I mess up. And then when I don't try, I'm like normal. So then it actually turns out well or like the results are better. So I'm like, ugh. I don't know. It always happens to me. This was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Clear Brow Gel. And if I remember, I will link these products down below, but don't hold me to it. Sometimes I'm like in a rush. Like, well, today I wasn't in a rush, but like sometimes I'm in a rush. So I forget to like put things in the description box. Next up, I'm using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. This is like the classic bronzer the thing is i really wanted that liquid bronzer that everyone was like talking about but it was always sold out so i just got this because like i don't know i've been using it for a while and i needed a new bronzer and the other one was like always out of stock so i'm like might as well just like use this one it's not a big deal but i find this to be like extremely hard to like blend and stuff i don't know what it is about it when I'm in a rush and when I don't feel like doing it, I really do not do bronzer. I don't even know why people bronze. I think it's to like make your face like shape your face better or whatever. But like when I don't have to do it, I just don't do it. But I'm doing it today because I'm filming this video. So I do that. Now I'm looking crazy and then I put it here to make my chin look better, I guess. And then... And then I just put it on my forehead to like give a little bit more like blended look. I have no idea what I'm doing. See, this is like just so hard to blend. And sometimes what I do because it's like so hard to blend, I just use this brush and I just like go over it a bunch of times. And sometimes I put way too much on this side. So what I'll do honestly is like go with the beauty blender and just like dab to like get some of it off. <laughs> or I put some more foundation on just to cover it up, which I'm probably gonna do that right now because I'm like, I don't know what's going on with this side. <laughs> Honestly, it's a little too much for my liking. So I'm just gonna like, yeah, that's good. And then I'll put some over here. It's doing a good job. Okay, good. I was scared there. I hate it when I do that. I hate putting like too much of something on because then I don't know. It's still like a little uneven in this side, so what I might end up doing is just putting some more powder. And then, if I'm really feeling it, then I uh, put some contour on my nose, which I will a little bit today, because why not? I have to make sure to not try to poke my eye out. But yeah, I just like put a little bit, not a lot. Not too shabby, if I say so myself. Okay, next up we have the eyes. So basically I do this every time. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. Basically it just looks like this. I don't really know. It's This is the only palette I honestly ever use. If I need other shades I will use um, the Naked 2 palette that I've had since like 2011. Um, I don't have anything else because I don't really need anything else. So all I use is this palette. It's really good at like blending for like someone who doesn't spend a whole lot of time on this. So I put the darkest on the outside like this. So the dark goes on the outside and then I kind of just like blend in so it's not as harsh like where the non eyeshadow meets with the eyeshadow. So I kind of blend that. Then what I do, I take this glittery shade right here. I kind of like hit pan on it already, but I take this and then I put the glitter over the dark section. I do not like having mono lids because they just are obviously different than like, what's the, I don't even know what the other lid is called. But having model lids is harder because you have a different, like, obviously eye shape than other people. So, yeah. This is why I do my makeup every single time the exact same way. Because if I don't do it this way, I just think it looks ugly. 
so yeah sorry not sorry after i put like the glittery part like well i put it like all over let's just be real um i just put it all over the lid i take this lightest shade this one and i put it in the middle like not in the middle but like the part of my eyelid that's closest to my nose if that makes sense so it just goes on like that and I love that all these colors like match so I don't have to worry about like does this match does this not match you know what I mean I less thinking for me is like the better because I already have to think about a lot so <laughs> when doing makeup like I don't want to have to think like does this shade go I mean because I don't know man and then my eyes are like two different shapes so I like try to match the shapes it's just a little difficult but you know it's all right and I think that's pretty much it that is the Alex go-to makeup look now I'm gonna do lips just because how long has this been oh my gosh this has been like 20 minutes <laughs> crazy okay so if I'm really feeling it I will do lips so the lip products I use the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk um, lip liner and lipstick which uh, that's what I'm probably gonna wear um, later but I also have the iconic nude and this is the makeup by Mario um, bare glow lip serum and it's like a plumping serum I might put this on to wear for the TikTok um, also to set my makeup I use the morphe setting spray learned about this at my friend's wedding so it's kind of funny but it works pretty well so and then for like on the go I have this Charlotte Tilbury powder um, I kind of just keep it in my bag if I'm like going somewhere but I'm not going anywhere so I don't really need it okay so now I'm going to curl my hair but I'm gonna listen to a video while I curl my hair because uh I just want to and it's just easier for me rather than like talking so um anyway enjoy the time lapse of me doing my hair because it shouldn't be too long okay so this is what the hair looks like i really like it um the bangs you can't even really tell i have bangs um because like the way I styled them but I'm sure they will like fall out eventually like I don't know <laughs> we'll see but I'm just gonna run my hands through the hairs and give a nice wave yeah like you can definitely tell like I have more bangs when I do that and then they like flop down which is what I kind of wanted so anyway I like my hair a lot I love it when it's like has volume and stuff like this because then I don't have to wish I had extensions <laughs> now I think I want to get my shoes on and stuff it is 337 right now I want to film like the TikTok because I've been waiting to film this without looking like I've just rolled out of bed so I'm gonna do that which is gonna be fun okay guys so i got the tiktok my hair was looking crazy now it looks good so i think it just needed like time to have a moment um but i'm gonna put on my perfume i love this stuff so much it's kind of strong but because you know how i don't like makeup smell i wear this because then like i won't smell the makeup smell and it's good it's just the tom ford tobacco vanilla uh i was gonna say flavor but like fragrance it's kind of expensive i don't know what i'm gonna do when i run out of this stuff i'll probably get more but it's ridiculous i know that they sell some at sephora so i'll probably end up getting a sephora version and then you guys last but not least i'm wearing this jacket because it's like 65 degrees outside so your girl's gonna be cold but this is the outfit Honestly, I couldn't be happier with the way this turned out. I think it looks really nice and cozy, especially for a Florida winter. I swear, this mess behind me it drives me bonkers, but 
there's nothing really I can do about it right now, so it is what it is, but yeah, so I'm gonna get on the road. I'm gonna just film on my phone just because it's easier and everything. I will get some clips for you at this restaurant I've been wanting to try. I've been wanting to go to Ocean Prime for the longest time. I wanted to go there for my birthday, but it was like, they wanted me to pay $1,000 around that for like my party. And I'm like, no, I can't really do that. So yeah, that's not happening. So that's why I switched to the restaurant. But other than that, can't wait to try the restaurant and yeah so I'm gonna get on the road now okay so we made it I'm walking in now it's not really over here it's over there but I didn't want to have to do valet parking so I just parked in this other parking lot and these freaking boots I swear the thigh high part is not staying at the thigh so <laughs> whatever I'll be seated for most of the time but we're gonna do like the little happy hour thing Hopefully my friend's here. She like missed an exit. So I'm like, oh my gosh, it's okay. Don't worry. So she should be here soon. All right, so London's here <laughs> and she brought me some goodies. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, that's really cute. Aw. That's so cute. Yeah, yeah. You're just saying it doesn't fit you? No, it's too big. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, for the waist. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Yes, I shall take that. Oh, it's stripes. I already, I already like it. It's like a cover-up. Yeah. Yes, I'll take that. Thanks. Okay. Oh my gosh, I got you something too. Okay, we'll have to... Exactly. Oh, I have to open yours first? Okay. Okay, are we ready? So, to Alex from London. And... Stop. How... Isn't it cute? What the heck? That is so cute. I'm gonna have to send this to my friends. <gasps> Love it. That is so cute. Thanks, girl. Yeah. I got London a little something, so she's opening it up. Oh my gosh, everyone got this same card. It's embarrassing, but it's fine. Yes, girl. Yeah. Wait, open the gift card though, because this is my favorite part, it's gold, and it looks like an actual credit card. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. We look good together. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, it's kind of dark, but I'm trying this drink. It's from New Zealand. It's a Pinot Noir. You guys know. Love the Pinot. So, cheers. As I cheers with her, like, water. <laughs> Yo, that's so good. Yeah. How cute. Oh wait, should I take a pic? Do they have live music here? All right, we're kind of fangirling over how cute the spread is, but she cute. <laughs> All right, so I got a bowl of lobster bisque. And London got steak tartare. Steak tartare. Look how cool that looks. Wow, fancy. Do you want to try a piece? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, look how cool that looks. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.